Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover this project Hort. This is a DeFi as a service project. I am going to give you a realistic review because you need to be careful before you invest, invest in this project. It's not that I don't like the project, but there is a lot of misunderstanding about how this project works. So I will cover all about Hort. I will give you all my review my cold mathematical review about how much you can do in this project as passive income. We are going to cover a little bit about the project and all the news that we are going to have. We have NFTs ready to launch and many more things on hoard. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Hey guys, well, if you are not in Hort yet, this video will be the best video that you can find in internet about the project because I will give you the exactly mathematical thing that you need to know to understand how much money you will make on this project, but realistic. If you are already in Hort and you are a fanatic of Hort, you may think that this is a fat video, but actually it's not. It's the most realistic video on Hort that you can find. So I will cover everything about that. Before going to Hort, I want to remember you that you can review my website CryptocurrencyState.net and check everything and filter all the videos according to the ones that you are more interested. You can also check for passive income videos, just click in, in the passive income category and you will get all the projects similar to Hort. So Hort token is uh, like many other DeFi as a service project or nodes as a service project. In this case, you can buy plots to earn passive income and to claim your plot, it will cost you 10 hard tokens. The tokens right now are at $100. And one particular thing of this project is that they really take care of maintaining the price without going into a very important loss of value. So one of the goals of this project, and this is one of the best things that this project has, is that they are going to maintain the price in a specific range. So right now, the range, the price range is increased, is from $99 to $112. So what they do, if is there are much, a lot of buy pressure, they don't let the price go above this. Instead, they use that new money for the project to then put the price up when the price decreases because of course there are people selling these tokens, so they need to have this correct mechanism to properly maintain the price of hard token uh, uh, between the range. And I have to say and admit that they really did that. They are maintaining the range, even with the dump of Bitcoin into $30,000, hard token is maintaining really good. So I really like that for the project. If I consider the past last uh, two or three months, this is the only project that still give you really nice rewards on DeFi as a service or Node as a service. You know that I am so held in a lot of other nodes projects like Thor Financial, Red Light Node, Elephant Money, Sapphire, all these projects right now I'm in red and I'm really low from what I invested originally. So right now uh, Horde is one of the best to invest at this moment. After saying that, let's continue the review. So you need to pay 10 hard tokens to get a plot and you will earn at least a 300% ROI for your plot. And this is important and you maybe don't understand correctly what that means. And that is here in the website itself. It's not something that I am inventing. This plot that you buy, it will serve you. It will produce you rewards for 300 days. After the 300 days, the plot doesn't work anymore for you. You will need to buy a new plot to earn again rewards. So it's not like the other projects that you buy a node and the node will produce you forever, at least if the project is still alive. So in this case, you know from the start that the plot will produce a 300% ROI. So you are going to earn a 1% per day. So this is a 0.1 hard token per day. One important thing, you don't make money until you recover your investment. 
So if you are a hype of horde right now seeing this video, you will say, well, that is not just true. But yeah, I am cold with my investments. So first of all, I need to know exactly how much time I will get to recover my initial investment. So in this case, you will recover your investment after 100 days. We are, of course, contemplating that the price of hoard, it will keep the range and you will wait and you will have the price that you invest right now in 100 days after this. So in order to accomplish that, the project needs to continue growing, needs to continue doing it well. If not, if they start to deplay from their range, that will be very bad news and you can really lose your investment here. So 100 days to recover your investment. Right now, they make a treasure investment to maintain the reward pool. Right now, they have 1.16 million here in the liquidity pools and the treasury is 1 million. So they have actually 2 million, around $2 million right now to keep uh, the price up and uh, the rewards pool. And like I mentioned, they increase the range time to time. So in April 11, they increase it to this, to 99 to 112. If the project continue going well, the idea is that they are going slightly go moving up the range that the price of the token should be. But for now, they are really accomplished those goals, which are really important right now in a bear market. You need to understand that Bitcoin went from $70,000 to $30,000. And in the same time, almost hard maintain the price of the token. So again, what you may not know is that the plots you buy will stop producing after a 300 ROI. So basically you will do a 2x of your investment during almost one year. We are going to count it this 300% is 300 days. And year has a 365 days, but we are counting like it's a, a year, right? So if they accomplish to keep the price in the range with only 2 million right now on the treasury and liquidity, it's not that they are super comfortable. So they really need to invest their money in really good stuff they i know that they are buying bitcoin actually and you can see the treasury pool resort for the last one where to invest the money that they have for the treasury so they are moving on that direction but still they really need new people buying plots to maintain the treasury so they are not completely independent of the market of the new investors so they really need to maintain like this fancy schema that this whole kind of project has. If we stop to receiving new people into the project buying plots, they are not going to achieve the goals that the project has. So basically you will do 30 hard tokens per plot in all the lifetime of the plot. Then was your investment. So you will actually earn 20 hard tokens at the end. Remember, this is almost one year of your investment if everything continue going good with the project. If you sell them uh, to buy to BUSD, you need to pay a 10% sell tax. They don't have a claim tax and they don't have a buy tax, but they have a sell tax. So you can actually uh, sell 18 hard tokens at the end. So 18 hard tokens is actually exactly what you will have if you want to sell after the plot stop producing. At the current value of $100 per hard token, you will do $1,800 in 300 days for an investment of $1,000 because you first recover your investment. These are your net uh, income, $1,800. So, so far, so good. It's good that you have this clarity. So if you want to enter into hard, you will know exactly the mathematical equation that you need to understand because these plots are not forever. After that, then you can reinvest your money and what you already have there and start moving the, the cycle to earn more, or you just can keep your money and move into another project. Right now, the Friday, 13th of May, this Friday, they are launching the NFT scene mint. You don't need to be in a whitelist and anything, but you will have three types of NFTs that you can attach to one plot not to all your plots, so you can attach the NFT to one plot and earn more rewards. So this is the polemic thing that I have been in my review. You have three kinds of NFTs, Westerland Cabin, 
this costs you three hordes and give you a five percent then search and rescue will cost you 5.5 horde and give you 10 percent and charge squares 7.5 horde and will give you a 15 percent with this westland cave nft you will make 0.105 horde per day with the 10 percent you will make 0.11 and with the 15 percent 0.115 so how I manage this mathematical thing here? Because according to my math, you actually will be losing money if you buy one of the NFTs. So if you are a fan of Horde right now and you're seeing this, put your comments below about this. And if it's your first time here, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. Let's say that you buy one plot at $1,000 right now, 11th of May. After 30 days, you will have three hordes already of your rewards. So with that, you can buy an NFT, a wasteland cabin, to increase 5% of your rewards. We are not considering here that you are going to put money from outside. So you are not going to buy the NFT with new money. You are going to buy it with the rewards that you are generating from your plot. So now you will get 0.105 hordes per day during the rest of your 300 days, which is the lifetime of your plot. So the rest of the 270 days that you that your plot works, you will get a total of 28.35 Horde tokens. So it was better not to buy the NFT and earn only 0.1 Horde during 300 days. So you will end up with 30 Hordes. So it doesn't make any sense at first. Of course, the NFT, we have another utilities and there's a game in place that it will come here. You can see the roadmap or in Horde and that games. We have the, the new utilities for the NFT, for the scenes, zombie trophies and monuments and more stuff. We will have a Horde game that maybe this NFT will serve you for that. So there are another utilities, but in terms of the increase of the percentage of rewards, this is actually not the best idea. The same happened with the other two NFTs, actually, because for the second one that will give you a 10%, you need to wait 55 days to earn 5.5 Horde, and then you use those to buy the NFT and you attach it to your plot. So the rest of the 245 days, you will earn at the end 26.95 Horde. So again, it will be better for you not buy any NFT just keep the 0.1 hoard per day during 300 days and you will end up with 30 hordes. Remember, when you sell, you have a 10% tax. And the same is for the 15% uh, reward of the last NFT. I talk about this with uh, the Discord channel, some, some administrators on Discord, and they told me that you can reattach the NFT to a new plot. So the only way that this works is that you, after this plot ends to work, then you can use it for a new plot. In that case, because you don't need to buy a new NFT for a new plot, in that case, the NFT will help you for the second plot that you buy after 300 days. So if you are thinking long term, then that makes sense, but doesn't make sense for one year. So I think the time frame for that is too big to be actually a very useful thing. So these are the kind of things that I wanted to mention in this video. Be aware of the NFTs are not completely useful in terms of investment to increase your rewards for the lifetime of one plot. It will give you more rewards in the second plot that you can buy after one year, for example. And also remember the lifetime is 300 days. So you actually are going to make 18 hard tokens for one plot. So it's actually less than 2x of your investment. It's not bad, but the, there are many risks. They need to keep the price play to the range. If they don't do that, they fail in that, then it will be also one of your worst investments. But like I, I say, uh, I like the project. I will invest in the project. I didn't enter yet. This is part of my review. That is why I am doing this video. It's not all roses with Horde, which many people are saying is the best project there. So you need to consider all the things that I mentioned. But for now, they are doing it really great. They are actually increasing the treasury. They are going to this NFT stuff. And also one important thing that just came today 
is now they have the heart the app is lion flux so this is amazing for me and this is one of the biggest infrastructure news that we could have for this project this give me really bullishness on the project so guys that is all my review for Horde. i hope you enjoy this is the most realistic review of the project that you will find on internet right now you don't need to hype for any project always make your math so you don't have any surprises and you know exactly how much money you will make on this project but like i say i am bullish on this project right now it's one of the best ones because all the other projects like thor financial red light node Sapphire, vapor nodes project nodes safe uh, all those projects are right now really bad in terms of the investment they don't have this mechanism to keep the range on the price so the, the the token depreciate a lot on this with all the bear market that we have right now well guys before we leave remember like the video subscribe to the channel click the bell to get the notifications and i will see you tomorrow with a new video bye